สวัสดีค่ะ This one real real I have real faith one to one And you can see you, in the night like this the high quality you can see the light you can see it yeah, yeah, glowing yeah. in the night nice yeah, yeah. and this so, is Hi guys, thanks for joining me once again. I'm at the MBK Centre, one of Bangkok's oldest malls. The reason I'm here today is because I love this place. I'm going to go around there, have a look around, show you what's in there. There's about five or six floors. It's a huge, huge place. There's even a place to eat on the top floor, a food court, and there's various food outlets throughout the mall. So let's take a look, and uh, I'll show you what's inside. The easiest way to get to this place is by BTS. Um, if you're around the Nana area, basically what you do is you buy a ticket to the National Stadium. It's you you go to Siam, the station at Siam. Uh, you uh, stop at Siam, and then you come out and literally just cross the station, and you get on the you do one stop to the National uh, Stadium. I do know the shop that does all the Rolexes and things, but whether they'll let me film, I doubt it. Uh, all these, um, you can see there, all those shoes there, they're all fakes. None of them are real. There's a lot of gold shops here as well. I honestly think most of the people who are in this shopping mall are foreigners, Asian foreigners. A lot of them, Koreans, Chinese. Uh, it's a famous place all over the world. People know to come here. I think most of the Thais are actually working here rather than shopping. So when you actually enter this place from the B BTS, the Sky Train. This, uh, it's on the same level, you can walk straight from the Sky Train to here and we're now on the second floor. We could go down one floor, but it's mainly food outlets, so I won't bother today. Uh, I'll just carry on this level, then we'll go up to the third, which is a, quite an interesting level. Uh, we'll do all the levels actually, we'll flip around them. Very nice watches. Watches, sir. Yeah, they're very nice. Very nice. You yeah, sell Rolexes, Rolexes. Yeah. like that one. I have that one's a real, real one. This one? Real, real. I have real fake. <laughs> Clever. Genuine fake. Yeah. You wanna see some? Yeah, Rolex? yeah. Have a look. Yeah, have a look. Uh, Rolex. Uh, Dangerous. Without the, you know, none of the glass studs on it, nothing like that. Like somebody so that's a, yeah. a fake, or oh, is that a real one? It's not a real one, right? No, 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 no. Genuine fake. Genuine fake. Let me have yeah. a look. It's, yeah, it's very nice. One to one. You and can you see you... the night like this, the high quality, you can see the light, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glowing in the night. Nice, yeah. yeah. And this, so, is, this is 2023 24 collection. Is that the collect? Can I have a look at the yeah, catalog? Yeah. This is parking. Okay. What sort of prices are these going for? About 3500 3500 baht. And if somebody bargains you down, what's the best price they can get? Uh, depend on the model. Say for the, the one you're wearing. Yeah. Like this, I gave you best, like 2500 baht. 2500 yeah, yeah. And waterproof. Okay. We have three different colors. Okay. I mean, the copy watches these days are really good quality, aren't they? Yeah. This one is Batman. Okay. Pepsi. Wow. And all for two and a half to three and a half thousand. Yeah. But you don't display the Rolexes, right? No, no allowed. It, not allowed, I know, yeah. I know. Okay. okay, I told a little white lie there. He asked me if I had a YouTube channel and I said no, because I thought he wouldn't show me the watches. But um, what they tend to do now is they just have a, a real nice catalog like you've seen there. And then they'll show you the catalog and if there's anything you're really interested, then they'll go and get the watch from somewhere. Uh, somewhere probably hidden in here. 
but they want to make sure you're not a time waster. You know, if I'd start showing some serious interest, they would have started pulling, pulling watches out. Right, let's go and have a look, see what else we can find. One, thing, one other thing I like about this place, it's one of the only places I can actually buy shirts that fit me. I'll show you where I buy them. Um, I try to get the ones with the smaller logos because I don't really like wearing the fake brand shirts, but as I say, they fit really well for me. So the shop I'll show you, we're just heading down. There's a lot of clothes shops down here now. Um, they normally start the price at about 400 baht, but you can get them down to 250. I mean, I bought three off him. I tried to get him lower than that. Uh, he wouldn't go any lower than 250. Adidas Samba. I wear these myself. How much are these? This one, 1,900 baht. And what's the best price? Best price? One five, my friend. One five. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. Back, come back. Both All, right. Stop, man. All right, thank you, mate. Thank you. It's great to get the odd person who isn't camera shy. All right, let me try and find the shop that I buy the shirts from. So we're on the third floor. I've gone right to the end. Far corner. This one here, I don't have my guys here today. But it's not so much the price, it's that you can actually get the sizes from here. I'm actually 5XL. I'm actually quite a big guy. People say that they think I'm small when they see me on video. But they've got a great selection here. I can't see the guy I normally deal with. So just walking among the, the tight stalls here, listening to people, I can hear a lot of Russian accents here today. They might be Ukrainian, I can't tell the difference obviously, I'm not a linguist. Suit. Normally I wouldn't stop outside a suit shop because you never get away from them, but there's no one outside today. <laughs> Loads of caps. shops. A lot of the other malls you go to, they tend to sell the same things everywhere you go with a slight variation. It's totally different here. So on this third floor, there's a, a mix of electronic shops. There's a lot of phones that sell, uh, a lot of shops rather that sell mobile phones, but be very, very careful because I've looked at some of these phones and the software seems to lag. Um, certainly come and have a look. There's some good products here, but just, you know, be very, very careful. I remember I came to Thailand once on a visit and I had a brand new phone and that's what the days when the networks could lock the phone to their network. I don't think they're allowed to do it in the UK anymore but I had to run around all afternoon trying to get my phone unlocked so I could put a Thai SIM card in there. And eventually I, I, I found somewhere here. So if you ever come and you've got a locked phone, you can get it unlocked here. They do just about any kind of repair work here as well. Well, there you go. You never know when you're gonna meet somebody. I'm just, I was just filming and I just met a very nice uh, couple from Lincoln. Uh, I was walking here filming and, and they come up to me and they said, are you British? And I said, I am. 
and uh, you're never sure what's going to come after that. And the, uh, the, it was a man and a wife, I presume, or partners, and the wife said, oh, I watch you quite regular. So, uh, yeah, I had a little chat with them. They're going back soon. So, nice to meet viewers now and again. Never know when you're going to bump into them. Hello. What's the latest one? 14. Is that for an... 13. Is that for the... Uh, which model is it? Is it the 13 or the 14? 13. 13. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I might have to change my uh, phone. It's quite quiet today. Uh, it's a Tuesday and it's 1.15 in the afternoon. If you come here on a Saturday, and even worse, a Sunday, it's like a zoo, you can't move. So if you are here on holiday and you're planning a trip here, probably better on a weekday. Hello, Hello how are you? Friendly. So they do have some genuine shops here. When I say genuine, I mean shops that don't sell fake products. This is a quite a famous shop here, Banana, they have it. Uh, this outlet is in many malls here in, in, in Bangkok and everything they sell is genuine. So they're selling hard drives, laptops, lots of different pieces. And uh, obviously you're gonna pay more money because it's all genuine. One thing about walking around such a big place like this is you do get exhausted and uh, unfortunately I forgot to bring any water with me today, stupid me, so I've just bought myself a nice soda water with ice, cheers. I'm trying to stay off the caffeine, I used to drink a lot of Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke, and, uh, but it's got a lot of caffeine in it and I was drinking quite a lot of it, um, thinking I was okay because there's no sugar in it. And uh, I was reading about it on the internet, apparently it's just as bad for you as sugared Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, but I find soda water is just as refreshing. Okay, so what I intend to do, we've done the second floor, we've done the third floor. We will go up to the fourth, fifth and sixth floor. There isn't a lot on the fifth floor. I think it's mainly furniture up there. And I might venture down to the ground floor at the end just to give you a, a kind of broad picture of what's here. But for me, definitely the second and third floor, perhaps the fourth floor, I can't remember everything that's up there, but those three floors, the second, the third and the fourth are the most interesting floors. And I think a little bit later on, it's not quite lunchtime for me yet. Uh, I woke up late today, it's half past one now. But I think in about half an hour, I'll go up to the food court uh, and I'll get some food up there. Uh, and you know me, I love my Indian food and there just happens to be uh, an Indian stall here in the food court on level six, I believe. So I'll go up there a little bit later on. Lights for YouTubing. Bit big for me. Uh, just trying to remember what was in that big space the last time I was here. I believe it was a load of pop-up stalls. The one bad point about coming on a weekday or Tuesday when it's really quiet like this, they're um, they're hungry for your business. So every store you go by to, it's a and a hello, and they try and uh, get you to buy something. I'd actually made a bit of a mistake. Um, the floor with all the phones and accessories on it is actually the fourth floor, not the third floor. I think I just got confused because I came in at the second level rather than the ground level. So I've now come up to the fifth floor. Not the most interesting floor, but I'll, um, I'll have a whiz round and you can see what's up here. So there's a genuine um, 
camera shop there, Canon camera, with all the lenses and everything in the window, and I'm sure, I'm sure there's some pricey stuff in there. Massage parlor, if you want to have a relaxing massage. Oh, I just want to show you a great shop, okay? If you're coming out here, if you're retiring out here, or you're going to spend any length of time out here, you know, you, th you need things like phone holders on your motorbike, um, cables, lots of different things. You tend to buy them online off Lazada or Shopee, uh, or you'll go to Lotus and buy them. This place, him, Mr. DIY, they've got them everywhere, and they are so cheap, it's unbelievable. I bought a baseball cap in here yesterday. They're selling them for 300 baht on Sukhumbit Road, and... Um, I paid 98 baht. I'll just sneak in with a camera. This is one of my favorite shops because they sell absolutely everything. Look at this. Tools. Look, there's the uh, clips I was telling you about. You know, if you want to put your phone on your car, dashboard or on your motorbike. Just check that price out there. 109 baht, that is cheap. Check out the price of that bike lock. Look, 65 baht, you can convert that into your own currency. That is cheap. 330 baht for a keyboard. Absolutely huge, and like I said, they're all over the place. The nearest one to me is uh, in Lotus on Rama 4. Let's have a look around the rest of the MBK Center. interesting if you come up here is this furniture here it's that kind of Chinese style heavy heavy wooden furniture with such detail on it Wow <clears throat> I mean look at that for a dining table that is absolutely beautiful and it's a huge shop, that's only half of it. Bed in there at the back. Hopefully they deliver. <laughs> Wouldn't fancy carrying one of these home. No. Beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. Lovely. Right, okay, look, there's not a lot more to see up here. Let's head up to the, uh, the sixth floor. I might go and have a bit of lunch, actually. I'll show you how it all works. It's a coupon system, so you don't, pay, uh, you don't pay cash to the individual stores. You'll buy coupons, uh, purchase your meal with a coupon. They deduct the amount of the cost, and then at the end of it, if you've got any money left on the coupon, they just refund that for you.
Right, this is what I'm going for today. Uh, I would like... I have ordered my food. It was 270 baht, uh, 20 baht for a water, so 295, just under 300 baht, which is probably about £7.40, about $9, something like that. And it's very modern. What they do, they give you this tag, and when your food's ready, you can sit anywhere in here. When the food's ready, this will start flashing, and then I know my food's ready, I can just go up and collect it. And uh, I'll show you the food when it gets here, but for now, they're still cooking it because it's not flashing, so I'm just gonna have to wait and uh, enjoy this nice cold water instead. Okay, looks like food's ready. It's flashing. Let's go and grab some Indian food. Okay, that's not bad, is it, for 270 baht there. I've got some plain naan bread, which I've asked for. I didn't like butter on it. Some pillow rice, a little bit of vegetables there. I believe that's a butter chicken and some potato there. So, Well, I am absolutely stuffed. I can definitely recommend that. And I'll show you this, the, the um, unit I got it from on the way out. 275 baht there for a butter chicken salad potato, rice, and bread. So there you go, guys. It's called Sultana, and it's uh, it's quite a big outlet. You, if you come up here, you shouldn't be able to, you should not miss it. So this is the sixth floor. There isn't much, it's not very interesting up here. There's a lot of closed shops. It's very quiet. Uh, there's some learning centers up here, obviously a food court. Uh, and some other bits and pieces. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go right down to the ground floor, so it'll be a lot busier than this, and just show you what they're selling down there. There's some interesting bits and pieces, and uh, I'll head down there now. One of the problems I have when I'm trying to film in environments like this, i.e. shopping malls, is that a lot of them, like Terminal 21 for instance, um, they have very loud pipe through music, and obviously that's a copyright issue. But there is music playing here, but I think it's so soft, um, that most of it won't actually come out on the video. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me. Wow. I'm actually walking down the street wearing that jacket. That'd be something. Well, how about something like that? I'd have to change my name to Tony Montana. Scarface. You can get hats made here. I didn't have mine, I had a, yeah, it was here. I had a couple of Thailand bound hats made. I should have got a couple more because they take about an hour, but I'm nearly done now. There were 500 baht each here with a logo stitched on. It's not printed, it's stitched, so it's pretty good quality. I don't know why, the word bling suddenly comes to me. This is something I'm coming across a lot more, where they have video projected onto the actual building itself. Quite clever, really. And better than looking at just boring concrete columns, right?
I always enjoy a trip to the MBK Centre, plenty to look at. And uh, if you haven't been here before, I think it's worth coming over. Just if you've got a spare morning or spare afternoon, uh, maybe you fly in the next day. There's lots to look at, lots to buy. And just again, the station you need is the National Stadium, okay? I mean, it's right next to the National Stadium. Nah, nah.